Good morning, it's April 21st. Going turkey hunting. Morning coffee. My cat Camo just woke up. Dog Jojo. Jesse's behind the camera. He's got a toothbrush in his mouth. This is uh, Jesse's big brother's birthday. He's uh, 24. We're going hunting. It's three something in the morning. All right, Jesse needs to brush his teeth. We need to get packed up and go. We're going to Ola, Idaho. Turkey hunting capital of Idaho. None at all. Oh, that's that retina. Yeah, it's very good. All right, so Max, talk about like the preparation that goes into not just turkey hunting, but hunting in general. Like, what do you have to do to like prepare for it? Uh, usually, the night before, you like get all your stuff together. I usually clean my gun like 25 times, and then get some camo and some decoys and some calls and then you wake up really early for no reason and you just you drive until you find a good spot and then you call usually you don't hear or see anything and then you go home mm -hmm. that's how I, it works for me I, I never kill anything i think the most exciting thing about turkey season is that it's it's like the end of winter and it's it's spring and so it's just another chance to get back out into the woods and like just be in, in, in nature and enjoying doing what I love. Talk about the adrenaline rush, like once you actually kill the animal, like what's that like? Um, it's, it's hard to describe because you can either, you either feel like really, really proud, like really excited because, just because you've like been able to be successful and it's such, it's such an exciting thing to be able to do, but you also have that respect for the animal that you, like you have just taken a life and so it's, it's kind of a mix of emotions really. So last spring, I and Connor Whitmus went up to Idaho City. We didn't see anything all day, and we found this spot, and it was like almost dark, and we sat down and we started calling, and I fell asleep. And then we gave up, and we started to walk back to the car, and we turned around, and there's a turkey right where we had been sitting, and we shot it six times with three-inch magnum, 12 gauge shells and it was did it die yeah yeah probably died like seven times <laughs> and we couldn't eat it because it was so destroyed i learned that i'm not as good of a turkey caller as i thought i learned that they're very smart birds and that the males aren't going to do anything as long as his females are around i learned it's beautiful up here i really appreciate the out of doors no wind, beautiful morning, coyote howling, turkeys gobbling, grouse drumming. It's perfect. Just didn't get to shoot anything. Spending, being able to like spend time in the woods and be with my friends and my family and my little brother and my dad. And I mean, killing the animal, that's not necessarily the highlight. I mean, that's the goal, but it's not, it's not always exactly what you want to do. You can be unsuccessful and not shoot an animal, but still have an amazing time just because you're doing what you love, so. There's officially no turkeys anywhere. None.